Largely speaking, it's just a reversal of a decision that that President uh, Donald Trump took to withdraw uh, most of the ground troops who had been stationed in in, in Somalia. Um, we've seen U.S. forces continue to train and advise both uh, Somali forces, but also the African Union forces uh, present in Somalia uh, during this interim period. I think the strategy uh, is a continuation of, of the, the former strategy, which would be to try and reduce Al Shabaab's threat, suppress its you know ability to carry out operations and uh, you know terrorist attacks target its senior leadership and we've seen this uh, with some but mostly limited success for for over 15 years um i really think that beyond kind of military power and and, and bombing our shabab which can have negative impacts in terms of the way it can be used by as pro propaganda by by our shabab to uh, to say that external forces are targeting somalia um that, that really there is a more nuanced approach that requires effect more effective diplomatic effort a uh, more consistent political uh, approach by by both the somali government and and its international allies including the us uh, and i think on that front we're seeing a much more nuanced perhaps take from the federal government uh, and instead of them talking about defeating al shabab militarily i think there's more of a recognition that you know the focus needs to be on restoring effective security sector within somalia uh and and ensuring that you know that their forces are ready and 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 that the, there is a possibility perhaps for political talks and engagement if they are offered uh but really that requires as well but better coordination between the federal government uh, and federal member states on security sector reform which it's hoped will will happen in this new administration